Hello everybody. I can do a little video. I've had quite a few people ask me, how do I keep my chicken liver on my hook? Well, most of you know that watch me fish and I use 95% of the time it's chicken liver because all the water the fish have nothing but channel cats and a few flatheads. So, my number one bait I use is chicken liver. So I've had a few people ask me, how do I get it to stay on the hook, you know? Well, over the years, you know, I've tried pantyhose, strings, little tube socks, and uh, they'll work. They'll work to an extent, but it, at the end of the day, you got a mess on the line. you got the pantyhose wrapped around your bar with your hook or fishing line wrapped everywhere. But uh, what I have just found out, the best way to do this chicken liver I'm going to show you guys, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you try it, and uh, it works for you. It's, it's been very good for me in the past couple of years, and uh, we're going to start out. You know, I got let's see, I got Tyson right now. You can buy it at Walmart. I don't recommend Tyson, but for some reason there's a shortage of chicken livers. I don't know why, but probably some deal with the pandemic, but that's besides the point. But, but I don't recommend Tyson. If you got another grocery store, a local supermarket, go buy their liver. Tyson just don't seem to hold together as well. It seems like it's more more mushy than some of the better stuff. But anyways, we're gonna use Tyson as a, a thing today. Alright. First thing you wanna do, as you can see I've already, I've been here fishing all night long, so I've had my chicken liver out. Get this in. All right. What you do, this stuff here has been sitting out a little while. The sun's finally coming out, but what you want to do is take your chicken liver. First of all, you want to drain your, the juice out of it, the blood. So wherever you're fishing at, go over and put your hand over and tip it up like this. And a lot of your juice will run out. The fish is not going to drink the juice. Eat the juice, or drink the juice. We just want the meat for a bait. So what we do, we'll take the chicken liver out, and this is what I mean by Tyson. The chicken liver falling apart right there. But don't, it's not like it should be. You know, we get a lot of, a lot of stuff like that that's like disintegrated already. Chicken liver should be, be you know, real firm, like a piece of steak. That's what chicken liver should be. Not a bunch of mush. That's why I do not recommend Tyson. But for this video, we're going to use it. So we're going to take the chicken liver out of your bucket. You know, first thing I, that's the first thing I do when I come up to the fishing spot is get my chicken liver out. And I lay it out on the table. Or the, the land, the rock, the piece of tree, whatever you got laying there. Throw it out there and it's like, well, why, why do you throw your chicken liver out like that? Well, the reason I throw my chicken liver out like this is when you got the sunlight beating down on it and you got the wind blowing, it forms a layer that starts drying out. The chicken liver will start to dry out and uh, it makes it better to stay onto the hook. But I've got one right here, for example. Now, you can see the difference color of the, the brighter, the bright red. Well, this part here is already dried out. And then this part here is not dried out. You know, same, you know, you can see the discoloration. The brighter the red, it's dried out because it's already, it's already got a film on it. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how I do that. Go fast. So we're going to get us a, a circle hook. There's, a, there's an older hook here. Kind of used to see that light on it. Or snail not on it. Circle hook. This is probably a number seven. And, uh, what you want to do, you want to put this chicken liver on this hook. You want to put it on multiple times. Circle hook works the best. 
But you want to kind of thread it off. When you stick it, start it in the corner. See? And then you just keep keep threading it off. Keep threading it off. Keep wrapping it. Keep wrapping it. Keep wrapping. And just keep just keep doing it. And when you get into that the part that's dry right there, it's kind of like leather. It, it forms a real good thick layer. Kind of, it gets a little crusty, but it got like leather. But that's how I do my chicken liver. And and hardly ever do I get cleaned off on the bait. Unless there's some small fish out there just pecking it to death. Don't want to get the hook in the mouth. But that is how I do it. And uh, hope you guys, hope you guys, if you want to use chicken liver, give it a try. And it, it works for me. And uh, it probably works for you guys too. Just lay your chicken liver out. Let it, let it air dry. But the top of it, where it's exposed to the air, it'll dry. But the bottom will still be like that. But you got that extra layer that's going to help get that hook to stay on there for that, for that chicken liver. And when you cast it, don't go hell Mary on it trying to get it far as you can. Because channel cats are not in real deep water. They're not that far out. I mean, you, can, you can get this out there pretty good. But uh, just try it. Practice. What they say, practice makes perfect. Good luck on you guys' next fishing adventure. And uh, I hope this helps you out. Appreciate you watching. Get you on the next cast. Have a good one, everybody.